In 2007, comedian Chris Lilly introduced Australia to Jonah from Tonga. That's not disruptive, that's entertainment. One of the characters in his popular mockumentary series Summer Heights High, which aired on the ABC. Characters since have included an African-American rapper. S. Dot Mouse is the revolutionary name. And a South African woman with an afro and a tan. Mama's gonna get pregnant. Increasingly, the tide of public opinion has turned on Lily's impersonations, especially those of people of colour. Lily is clearly not sorry, and I wonder, should he actually be? What Chris Lee got away with in 2012, he might not be able to get away with in 2017. Earlier this year, Netflix pulled four of his programs from its platform, and ABC's on-demand platform iView did the same. Chris Lilly joined the list of the cancelled. Is there anybody in here who hates me? I just can't exist on this channel. Cancelling is the internet's public shaming of people who write or say things deemed problematic. Often it's celebrities being called out after weighing into conversations about things like race and gender. When you're racist on Twitter, like people will come for you. Misdeeds of the past being given a fresh airing. There is a huge campaign on Twitter right now called Jimmy Fallon is over party. Or being associated with someone deemed problematic. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. The fear of being cancelled has prompted some celebrities to preemptively apologize. I did blackface as Nicki Minaj in 2011. People were offended and it hurt them and for that, I am so unbelievably sorry. But cancellation isn't limited to the rich and famous. In 2013, then 30-year-old communications director Justine Sacco found herself on the wrong end of what British journalist John Ronson calls the Twitter shame machine when she posted this before boarding a flight to Cape Town in South Africa. Within hours, she'd lost her job and spent a year unemployed, illustrating the real-world consequences of cancel culture. The great thing about social media was how it gave a voice to voiceless people, but we're now creating a surveillance society where the smartest way to survive is to go back to being voiceless. 